hello everyone so welcome back to another t-shirt design now in this one i was recording a video but something happens so it, this is in kind of after some steps of the design now this is the text i'm going to use these are the vectors i'm going to use and this is a position i just made by using transparency and this is a ribbon bundle this is a vr vector bundle i am going to use them in my this design and for this one here i just place this ribbon on top of my this drum and use the transparency i hope you can do this because you are <laughs> if you are following me for a time now then you can do this easily and this is just a ellipse i bring here to place my text and of course i have a text in my clipboard but i cannot show you that right now so let's do that again i am selecting this ellipse here then go to type on a path tool click on this anchor point sorry i clicked on the path anyway so press ctrl v it is going to place my bear text like this then i need to place it like right in the right in the center position like this then another one i'm going to click it in the center like i want to place it just in the center position so i am scrolling down sorry again so guys i am back again and this is the position right now this is my text that is fine so in this video or in this design i don't really want to like this bear text is my main focus point or my audience my customer will be attracted for this so i want to make the graphic here the focus point and i will just place place this text so i am going to use this one here then i am going to use the same bolivar rustic font all in caps that is fine now for this area here i want to bring a ruler to keep everything inside a area and for that i am pressing control r control r will bring this ruler now someone commented how to bring get the ruler so you have to click on this ruler and then drag it is going to give you a ruler now i can press alt that will make it flip like in the opposite direction then i can place it here then again i am pressing alt to bring here drag it here that is going to make it a copy here so that is fine now i am going to select my this text and break it okay so this thing i think this is in the center position that is fine let's select them once more then align them center wise once it is in the center i'm going to break my this text sorry this bear and then i'm going to make it a group so this is this is going to stay in a same, same position for all the time and now i'm going to place my this text aligning with the ruler that is fine now i'm going to make it probably would not kill me but in the same font ball bear rustic we can ob obviously use some other fonts like some scripted like fonts here for this one but this line is being very long i think so i'm going to break it from here control x to cut then i'm going to paste it here so this is going to be the line for me and then this probably i want to place it something here but i want to follow the curve of the ribbon and for that i am taking my curvature tool and if i click here then here and then something like here so it is going to give me this curve and then the magic of curvature tool is we can always change the anchor point or the position of the anchor point where you clicked and this is going to give us okay i pressed esc for breaking the line that is fine i am going to select my this probably text and then control x to cut it and need to select my this line here then again go to type on path tool then click on this point and then i'm going to press control v so this is looking like something like this let's make it a bit bigger something like this maybe okay but i want this to be in the like start from this point so that it comes inside the ribbon area and for that i need to change the baseline here you can see i'm pressing shift and scrolling my mouse wheel that is going to make it like bring down or up something like this that is fine now i can change the position but i need to do it from this anchor point because this is a 
a straight line text so something like this much is good for me or let's make it a bit bigger okay so priya robi b l y probably wouldn't kill me that is fine but this one i want to break it because i don't want to act it as a like a text anymore something like this but sometime it, it doesn't work with the arrow tool so you need to do it manually so that much is good for me right now okay now for this one here i want to just use on curvature like one scripted font here so maybe i will use something like signature this is the demo font of course but don't worry about that this is just to give it a little variation to the font or let's not do it sorry i am just going to keep it everything same font so that is i was trying to do it because there is a problem with this ball bear rustic font that it doesn't support this kind of characters anyway that is not a problem let's break the font so that it becomes a becomes shape right now so that i can place them just like this that is fine now if i double click to isolate the group i can select everything here then i am going to align them on the top it is going to align this line and this is really cool to make it hide something or fill an area that is fine but why risk it so this one i am going to make it let's try some okay 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 so try some scripted font and see how it is looking okay that is just going to make me confuse and i don't want that but why risk it so this is a simple font let's break it okay so if you can see here this is not i don't like the size of this question mark so i'm going to make it bigger this is really important to focus on your text whatever is missing or what you can do to make it look better that really helps so something like this now this one i'm going to bring it up a little bit okay guys so this is going to be the final design area for me i don't want to make it a very long design or not a very wide design so this is how it is looking right now but as you can see there is a tons of empty space here so let's try to do something cool here or try to do our use our vectors here that we wanted to use now for this area here obviously this is a bear design so i'm going to use a this wheat grain here but i don't want it to be that much bigger something like this will work for me or a little bit bigger okay this adjust, adjusting this size is really important so i'm going to make it look like flip like this then i'm going to create a brush that is going to be an art brush of course and then click okay so i have a art brush right now here that is fine so i want to fill that art brush in this area and for that the easiest way is if i click here then click here then click here something like this area maybe then press shift x okay guys so the length of the line is going to be the length of our this barley or wheat i don't know what is that so that's why i resize my graphic before making it a brush that is really important so if i select this one and click here it is going to look like this but that <laughs> basically from a different direction but if i double click on my brush and then i'm going to like click on this flip across then or i can click this both then click ok apply to a strokes it is going to flip my that brush in this direction and that is how i wanted it to be now i can simply this is just a, a stroke so let's expand it it becomes a shape or we can do this same with the arc effect from the effect and i think that is good okay let's not do it in that way maybe in this way so that is fine now for this one here i am going to bring a copy right click transform and then reflect so make sure that okay guys before doing this i want to make it bigger because 
this is the bigger area here like this part i want to fill with with this weight i am not going to use another element for filling this area i'm going to leave a little space here and then make it look like this that is fine then i'm going to erase this one sorry and then selecting this one bring that in this side right click transform reflect so that is fine now i'm going to bring that just inside my graphic area and make sure that it has the both kind of a space then if i select them both i can simply align them in the center position so that is good let's make it a group that is fine now i'm going to select my this ribbon or if i select my this one here this drum inside the transparency of the drum i will find my ribbon vector so if i click here and then select this one Control c to copy that is fine click here now i want to i need to select my this okay guys so i need to do some modifications here because this should be look like this this should look like this and of course this one should look like this okay i think this is better or i can do it again because i am not satisfied with the position of that so let's do it again in a different style so this time i am making it a bit bigger and then go to effect then wrap and then arc so that is what i i was talking about i go i'm going to make it a bit curved like this that is fine expand appearance and that is because this is a effect so whenever we are applying an effect we need to expand it now this becomes a bit bigger i don't want it to be that much bigger so okay i don't want it to be overlapping want it to overlap my text also then i can simply bring this in this position that is fine bring a copy here transform reflect okay so this is going to take some time to adjust the position here i can select them again and then centerize the their position then bring this like this maybe or simply i can do it manually by selecting both and then center align them so that is fine let's make it a bit bigger this time now that is fine let's group it okay guys so that is what i wanted to do here now for this one here if i keep clicking i will be able to select the drum and then I will find the vector of my ribbon or I can simply copy my this ribbon and then paste it inside the transparency of this width that is just two different ways so if I un uncheck this clip box and then press ctrl F it is going to paste my ribbon vector here and that is going to make this area invisible so that is fine now I want to okay guys I am really not satisfied with the position or the size of this barley or wheat I don't know so I have another idea in mind that is if I make them look like this just a little bit touching touching with my vector that is fine let's control C control F and control F is for paste in front and I can make a copy of that so let's use two copies of our that barley or wheat so that is fine now i'm going to bring this one sorry i need to ungroup it first and whenever we're ungrouping anything it is going to give back our that design whatever we pasted inside the transparency that is fine let's cut it i'm going to select this one and this one then make it a group then open that transparency again then press ctrl f so this is how it is looking right now and for this one here if i select this one it is going to show me that the position of the ribbon is distorted so if i delete it and press ctrl f again it is going to paste my that ribbon here again but that is not the position of it okay let's do it together so i am going to select this one here this ribbon whenever you will try to do it it is not going to take that much time because i made some mis made some mistakes here so i am going to copy this one this ribbon 
and then for this one here first of all I am going to ungroup okay I don't need this really so I am going to place this one here and then this one a bit then this one here okay I am going to ungroup it this one in this position okay so once it is positioned I am going to make them a group like four of them a group then I can open the transparency for it and press ctrl F so it is going to paste my that ribbon here then merge unite to make it a one single shape so this is going to look like this but for this area here I wanted to keep it behind my this drum or something so if I take my pencil tool here and then draw a shape like this I am inside the transparency of the wheat so that is why it is going to work here otherwise it will not work for you so draw a shape here and that is going to make those areas invisible and make my design look like this is inside the that one is the in the background of this shape anyway so that is the barley position for me right now and for this one here okay I'm inside the transparency I need to click here then for this position we can use some other elements like we can use this one for filling the area because you know I don't like to keep anything empty or some empty space in my design so this is for that now if I make it kind of bigger like this this is how it is going to look right now but don't worry about it because it is going to look good so I am going to place it here and then I am going to center align them and then for making sure that they are in the same position I need to make it first step is I am going to make it align with my ruler and that will make sure that they are both in a position in the same position okay now I want to make it a bit smaller and that will bring them same size distance from the ruler that is fine let's group it ctrl G now I am going to ctrl C copy so if I select this group inside the transparency I am going to press ctrl F and that is going to paste here march unite to make it one single shape copy that shape then click here then select this group and then open that transparency then press ctrl F so this is how it is looking right now my beer glass is on top of everything and that this area is being filled so that is fine now for the rest of the area here we can see some empty space and I don't know, need that I don't want that so maybe I will be using any other element from this graphic style sorry this graphic bundle now the main thing is you need to use anything that is rela related to the design like not something that is not relevant so this beer opener is a related thing we can use this and for this one here as you can see if I select it it is showing me this question mark that means it has some more colors than just one color so if I click on this trim then I am going to take my magic one and then click on this white it is going to delete the white and I am 100% sure that there is nothing in white in my design so that's why I can use it or you can see it is looking like this sometimes it happens for the compound path so if I create a path here that is kind of no fill no stroke and then if I take my magic wand tool and then select this one so this one it is going to select everything that is in this same style no fill no stroke now sometime it is going to select my these two ruler I need to deselect them then press delete so that is going to delete those shapes now I need to make it comp complete black so that is fine now let's bring it a bit close smaller make it a bit smaller now I just want to fill this area so that's why I need to make it a little bit bigger sometimes you need to do it manually because automatic system does not work every time so that is fine now okay guys so this beer opener is looking bigger than the beer bottles or glass that is not how it should look so I'm just going to place it something like this area I'm not going to make it a hundred percent realistic looking design something like this 
then I can simply bring on copy here that click transform reflect just like this then I am going to make it select them both center align them then I am going to apply my same tricks here first step is make them align with the ruler and then make them same size smaller so this is how it is looking right now and if I select my this for width so maybe I will use okay let's do it simple so I'm going to make it a group so once it is grouped I am going to control C to copy now I need to do something here like if I select my this to width group I can make it a group then open the transparency for it then press ctrl F it is going to paste in then I am going to march unite to make it one single shape that is making it look like this part is on top of the wheat that is fine but this two wheat I want to keep it on top of my this two so I am going to copy this then double click to isolate the group and selecting this two then open the transparency for it press ctrl F it is going to paste in here like this march unite to make it one single shape so as you can see this is on top this is on bottom but this part I don't want so I am going to press N for my pencil tool and then I am going to make it a shape like this just to hide this part and that is making it look like that part is in the background of my this beer can or whatever that is so that is fine let's keep it as it is for now and I think this is looking good now here the main focus was to make a beer graphic style not a text based design so okay so I have another another vector here I don't know why I choose this much so let's use this one let's make it smaller yeah so this is basically a beer design so whatever is related to beer we can use this in our design and then right click transform and then reflect then copy just to move it like this now these two I want to make sure that they are in the center position of my this design now the easiest way is make it bigger with my ruler that is fine then again bring them down so that is good now in this area I want to keep it not very small not very big something like this now let's control G to group it and control C to copy now if I select my this group inside the transparency I am pressing control F and then merge unite to make it a one single shape and as you can see this is staying on top of my that shapes so that is fine now if I like copy these shapes control C click here you can see this part is now again being visible and I don't want that so I am selecting this shape then inside the transparency press ctrl F that is going to paste this shape and that is going to hide that's fine so this part has some problem so let's fix that I am double clicking to isolate this group now I am selecting this one then ctrl C to copy then select this shape and then open transparency for that now press ctrl F it is going to look like this march unite and that is going to make it a on top on in the bottom so this is my final design for this one guys I hope you will learn something new or it will help you understand the transparency again and of course modifying some modifying to make some unique designs you have seen a tons of different designs on this topic this text this niche and this is again a unique one I hope this one is better than the ones already online and if you cannot make a better version then there is a zero percent chance you are going to have some sales so that's it guys i hope it will give you some advanced level idea if it is giving or my videos are helping you then let me know in the comment section and if you have any questions or if you have if you want to learn anything a specific thing you can comment i will try to make videos on that and till then see you in the have a great time. See you in the next video, guys. Have a great time. Thank you, everyone. Bye. I need to do some more work here. 
so I am selecting this one <laughs> after telling by and this font has some details like the distress looking details here oh my god so this is looking like this let's make it five percent and see how much that is maybe that will work for me okay video is over you can go to another one <laughs> now I am selecting this one then okay that part is really not important but if I was trying to do let's do it not five pixel because that is making it so three pixel maybe that is fine control X to cut it now I need to select my this ribbon only okay so selecting the ribbon opening the transparency for it then press control F this is just to make my text pop out that nothing is interrupting with the text that's fine okay guys so that's it see you in the next video guys have a great time thank you everyone